Welcome, my name is David Stone and I am a trainer at the University of Missouri Division of Information Technology. Today we're going to be working in Excel 2013. However, just as a caveat, uh, these same steps will work exactly the same way in Excel 2010. Uh, so let's get started. Now as you can see, of course I have, a, uh, I have an Excel document open in front of me. And one of the reasons why we would generally create a lookup list is to make things simpler. So for instance, states. Uh, I don't know about you, but uh, the, the, the spelling of, of the state of Mississippi sometimes eludes me, especially when I'm a little bit more tired. So uh, I'd like, rather, rather than having the, having the opportunity uh, to, make a, to make a goof up or a mistake, instead, I would love the opportunity to be able to just click from a list select the state that I want and go on filling out my filling out my information. Now this is also very helpful if you have information that may be filled out by multiple people uh, say at a club setting where uh, you're signing up new members and you want them to just fill out one quick line they can click on a list with, which is a little bit easier than trying to get them to to remember to spell out the name of the state because um, sometimes I know at least I've seen this before uh, someone rather than uh, rather than fill out the information, sometimes they'll just, they'll just abbreviate the state name, so you get inconsistent information. This way, it actually it, it this way your information is actually consistent across the board. Now, in order to set this up, of course, I've set up a I've set up a worksheet already for myself in Excel, and where I pulled this information from, I actually used a website to generate a list of random uh, names street addresses, cities, states, and zip codes. So the, none of this information is actually real, so I'm not giving away anybody's personal information here. But what I'm doing is I'm actually going to put a lookup list into this document. Now in order to do that, first things first, I need to select the area that I want to create the lookup list in. So in this case, I'm going to select this column for the state. Now in order, now I can do this one of two ways. In this case, I'm going to actually click on the click on the column heading and select the entire column because I I don't want to limit myself to just how many other people I have, but I may want to put more people in here. So I'm going to go ahead and select the entire column. Then I'm going to click on the data tab. Now when I click on the data tab, of course, it takes me to a whole list of different options. The one I want to look at is called data validation. Now when I click on data validation, of course clicking on the bottom gives me a whole gives me a drop down list of three. In this case I'm going to select data validation and it brings up a it brings up a popover menu. Now in this case, or not a popover, brings up a, a separate window, not a popover menu. Um, this allows me to select what I want to put in here. Now for the data validation settings, this first tab is what we're going to use. So where it says allow any value, when I click on that, notice how it says, gives me a list of whole number, decimal, list, date, time, so on and so forth. Now if you want to limit, let's say that you want to, you want to use this to create just a date format, you can actually do that as well. Now there's a couple of different ways I can put in this information. Now I could, of course I could use the source information right here to type in the information. However, since I've already create, since I already have a tab down here that says U.S. states, instead I'm going to use some cells out of that. So that way, later on, if I realize that I miss that I typed in uh, the word Mississippi wrong, of course I can go back and correct it on a different worksheet. And then, of course, I'll, I'll talk a little bit towards the end about how to manage those worksheets because there is a certain, at least a standard. That way, you know what to find. So I'm going to click on source and then. Just like whenever I'm working in a source, if you'll notice, there's a little box over here to the right-hand side. And when I click on that, it says data validation, and it's looking for a specific group of cells. Now, in this case, I'm going to click on U.S. states. And if you'll notice, that it changes that to where it says U.S. states, and it puts an exclamation point at the end of it. And then I'm going to go over here and start on column A. I'm going to click, hold, and drag. And I'm going to pull all the way down to the bottom of the 50 states. And then I'm going to hit enter. Now what this does is that it's looking at this, it will always look at this particular group of cells over here in column A, and will always refer from A1 through A50 as the name of my, of my states. Now when I click on OK, 
Of course, that takes me back to my it takes me back to my original worksheet. Now, when I click down into, say, for instance, row two, column G, notice how there's now a drop-down triangle next to uh, next to the state full to the full name of the state, or at least the 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 columns that I set up to contain my uh, to contain my full state name. So when I click on this downward pointing triangle, notice how now I have a nice little list of all the states in the union. And I can simply go down and click on Mississippi. For the next one, I can click on this and select Ohio. And of course, if I want to type it in, if I want to simply type it in here instead, all I have to do is simply type in, because I do know how to spell Ohio very, at least accurately, and hit enter. So now, I've just created a drop down just created a way to create to make a drop down list within my, my Excel worksheets. Now one last thing I would like to like to mention at least is whenever I'm creating my drop down list, of course I'm always going to refer to this worksheet right here that says US States. However, I want to change this because I do want this to be I do want to make a note on here that this is a lookup or this is used in a lookup list. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click on where it says US States and I'm going to go up to where it says rename and I'm simply going to use my arrow keys to go to go back to the first of the back to the first of the of the name and I'm going to type in the word lookup. This will indicate to me that okay this is used in a lookup field or in a lookup list. Now once I hit enter that has uh, select cemented in that name. Now let's go back and check and see if our lookup list is still working. Yes, it looks like it certainly is. So I can go in here and select New Mexico, or Cal in this case California instead of New Mexico. Uh, and I'm going to scroll back up, go, go up here and select California. And there you have it. I've simply, I've sim so what we've done is we've used the data validation workflow to create a lookup list. Now if you have any further questions, of course, please check back on our, please, you know, if you have any further questions, uh, please check back with us periodically or feel free to contact us uh, via our contact information here on our YouTube channel. Uh, also, if you, uh, if you want to check out more videos, please do. Uh, with, there's, a, there's a button down there that says subscribe. Go ahead and subscribe to our channel so that you can come back for more helpful videos and tutorials. While we're wrapping up today's session, I'd like to mention that IT Training offers free, beginning, and advanced courses in Microsoft Office and Adobe products for all faculty, staff, and students at the University of Missouri. If you'd like to learn more, please log into training.missouri.edu today and register for